Hey everybody, today I'm making a video where I'm going to take the stuff that we unboxed the other day and we're going to situate it in our tackle boxes and uh, so that it's most effective for you whether you're fishing out of your boat or if you're fishing as a co-angler. So stay tuned. All right, so here we have some of my storage. We got a variety of different boxes here from the small ones on the left to the big bulk storage on the right. I picked up some of those bulk storage ones at Target. They're relatively inexpensive, uh, a lot cheaper than trying to buy the big bulk storage boxes that you'll buy at, you know, uh, Sportsman's Warehouse or someplace like that. So let's get into it. So we bought a lot of stuff the other day, but I'm only gonna go through a couple of different things to give you an idea of how I store it. Um, the hooks, the weights, the drop shots, and my square bills. So as you can see from these boxes, I try to label everything really clearly because um, you know when you're in a tournament or even just fun fishing, you don't want to spend 10 minutes looking through you know your your weights or anything else to try to find the right one when you break off. So I keep stuff labeled pretty well so that it makes it a lot easier when you go to make a replacement. So here we have my weight box. It's pretty simple. I've got it labeled for different kind of things. This is for drop shot, uh, that's you know the DS. Um, these are just the regular weights. I just kind of throw the tungsten or the punch weights in there wherever. So I'm just gonna quickly open this up, let you see it. We're gonna put some of this stuff away. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna go through everything, but um, so once we got it open, I've got it labeled again inside because obviously the lid is open at that point. I got the tungsten stuff that'll go over here. But it's pretty simple. I've got it broken down so that I can just take my weights, I open them, I dump them into the different slots, and we're ready to go. And throw it in the, the, the boat bag or throw it in your boat in your storage, and it keeps it real simple, real convenient, and uh, you don't have to fuss with it when you're on the water. Same idea for the hooks. Everything's labeled. I got giants, some 6 aught, 7 aught hooks over here, 5 aught, 4 aught, etc. Uh, punch weight or punch hooks, Cinco's. Some more punch. Um, you know, I try to relabel them as they wear off. I also label all my boxes really well too. So if, even if they're in my boat bag, if I put them in any of the different spots, it's easy to get to. So we open up the box, open it up. Not as labeled inside like the the weights were, because you know at that point you can kind of see there's not as many bends. I keep my O-rings in here for fishing Cinco's wacky rig, uh, swim bait hooks, uh, stuff for rigging the Alabama rigs. So it makes it pretty easy. I can just open up open up like these are the three-aught trocar uh, flipping hooks and they're just going to drop right into my spot for the flipping hooks once I take them out of the package and you're ready to go. It's always going to be in the same place. You become familiar with your box. It's easy to do. Okay, this one can be a little more complex so follow with me here. Drop shot box. It's got all my drop shot. I typically use Robo Worm. I've got some other brands in here. Um, sometimes I'll leave it in the bag if they're if it's a mixture of colors like I got some green on the bottom there. I got the solid white ones, which I like to use in spring if I'm fishing a bed. And then I'm just going to take these suckers. I'm going to open them up. These are my the five inch or the the four inch, and then the six inch. So I can just open them up, shove them in there, and I'm good to go for however long until I run out. It's pretty simple though. You keep them broke down by the different colors, and it makes it a lot more convenient to pull them out when you're really in a rush if you're on a tournament or whatnot. The difference is with these, I don't mind doing this because of the fact that they're not scented, right? They're salted. Uh, they go in here, if I need a worm, I pull one out. Those are kind of getting old, so they probably need to be replaced. But, uh, you know, I just pull the worm out, I'm ready to go, close the box up, throw it back in the box of the boat or back in my boat bag. Um, with some of the other baits that I like to throw, like the the rattlesnakes, those are scented baits. They're going to have an odor to them, so I want to make sure that I keep those in their bag because that's more important to maintain that scent, uh, that smell, um, than it is to you know have a convenience of, of something like this. So. And last but not least, the square bill box. This applies to any of your crank baits. Um, you can see the, the problem you have with these types of boxes is, you know, when you go to pull out one, you pull out a, you know half of them. Um, I try to keep them separated. I have one that's just for lipless. I have one that's just for square bills, one for deep divers, one for uh, shallow divers, and one for the medium diving crankbaits. Um, you know, those are just the convenient ones. I try to make, make, mix it up with the right colors depending on the time of the year, and it really works well for me. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of spring colors, bright colors in here. The you know, this, this orange uh, uh, 
speed chat here. You got the some more lucky crafts in here. The the BDS, the Big Daddy Strikes, some little homemade jobs that that actually work pretty well on certain lakes. So again, you've got uh, the convenience of having just your square bills. So in the springtime, you don't have to pack those deep divers. You don't have to pack the the baits you're not going to use around. You can just basically build a box like this. Well, there you have it. A little bit about how I store my gear. Obviously, everybody's going to do theirs a little bit different. This is just an idea to help you be a little more effective on the water, actually give you more time fishing and a lot less time looking for your gear. Uh, you know, it's going to be up to everybody's personal choices how they do it. Some people, when you're fishing as a co-angler, you may have a boat bag, you may have something similar to that. And, you know, you get to make do for the situation that you have in front of you. But the important thing is just have a plan. That way, when you're out there on the water, you got what you need. It's easily accessible and you know where it's at. Good luck out there. Catch lots of big fish and we'll see you on the water.